Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Good old Commander Sparks here with another Red Dead Redemption 2 video for you folks. And today, going to be a little bit different information for you guys, as we're going to be covering the Red Dead Online leaks and rumors that have just surfaced. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So as many of you know, Rockstar is coming out with their Red Dead Online component coming up here in November. As for a date, we don't really know too much yet about when it will drop, but we do know it will be a public open beta. But between the time that the game was released and kind of falling up to its release, we haven't really received too much information on Red Dead Online, honestly. But luckily, that's changed. <laughs> Now, I did make a video on this about the top five things I felt like Red Dead Online needed to get right, and I'll probably put a card up in the top right if you want to go check that out as well after watching this video. But there's a couple things that I see that overlap and things that I, I've really wanted to see with an online game for Red Dead at least. Now, all this information is being leaked and rumored on rockstarintel.com. I'll definitely be putting some links down in the description so you can go and read this for yourself, but this information so far seems to be legit and pretty cool. So starting off, it looks like in Red Dead Online, we'll actually be able to buy properties. Now, I feel like this is an awesome, awesome thing for us to be able to do. And my mind just absolutely runs wild with the possibilities of what we could actually own in online and the money that we could actually make as well. I really hope Rockstar are taking an approach to where they're trying to eliminate the possibility of being able to have to buy the shark cards or coyote cards or whatever the hell they may be called if they hopefully don't have them because I know there's a lot of people that were pissed off with that, myself included. But so far it looks like there are about 10 properties that we are able to own and this is, you know, this may not even be a complete list. The prices of course are placeholders at $1,000 and interestingly enough property number 6 has a tagline of rugged homely, homely in the countryside excuse me so it's really interesting to think about what we could actually own this immediately makes me think of like GTA 5 RP on Twitch that so many people play where they have jobs and they go around and they do specific tasks and they basically just role play out things. I wonder if Rockstar has seen that and kind of wants to implement some of that into this game and to think about the possibilities of the fact that this game is going to be coming to PC at some point, which is rumored. Hopefully it will be uh, just just builds that excitement even more to see that some of this stuff will already be in the base game. Think about owning like a moonshine business or something like that where you can go around to players and you can offer up moonshine and they can pay a, a nominal fee, of course, to be able to partake in your goods. What about owning like a general store or a gun store or something like that? Like just the possibilities I'm thinking of would be crazy. Now I'm sure we'll start to see a lot more of this information trickle out here coming up, but this is just what we have so far based on the properties of what we will be able to hopefully own because we don't have too much information just yet. Moving right along, we have online vehicles. Now this is pretty interesting to me. So not only can we own horses, and the four horses listed, I'll just read them off real quick, are the Hungarian Halfbred, the Missouri Fox Trotter, the Dutch Warmblood, and the Turkoman. So not only can we own these horses, and I'm sure there's definitely going to be more than just those four for sure, because single player obviously has a ton more. So I'm sure they're going to be making an appearance over in the online mode. But we have so many different types of wagons and carts that you can actually own as well, all with the placeholder of $500, of course, that's subject to change. But we have horse carts, small coaches, chuck wagons, chuck, wagon, chuck wagons with a Gatlin gun, <laughs> supply wagons, utility wagons, and war wagons. Now, just, this just makes me think of the properties, at least me personally, to think about why we would need some of this stuff like a supply wagon or a utility wagon. Why would we need those? Well, if we have the properties, we can maybe transport our goods around and maybe from point A to point B to the property to take them out from the property to go sell them to players to to make money, all that stuff. So it's going to be really interesting to see how specifically these wagons and carts will actually be implemented in the online mode and how they will relate to the businesses and everything else that's to come. So just some small information on some of the vehicles that we have. And like I said, I'm sure a lot more of this will trickle out as the date comes and when we'll finally be able to get our hands on Red Dead Online. And last but not least, in Red Dead Online, you will be able to race, duel, and do a lot more, it seems like, in the online component. Now, Rockstar has stated that they're trying to go for a seamless PvE mode, and it seems like some of these leaked inputs from Fireboy78, excuse me, indicates that this is definitely the case. Now, some of these are just basic things, but some of them also look like they're hunting abilities to be able to hunt. Duel, we can see kind of near the middle. Racing, 
and leader feud. So it's really interesting to see what the possibility of these inputs will actually be and how they relate to being able to play in online. You can also inform the law about something. So it almost seems like with that in my mind, and I may be wondering when I think this, but informing the law, I wonder if they're trying to go for like a morality system in online. And how cool would that be if that was the case to where we could do bounties and hunt players in the online mode that were maybe acting in shitty ways or just acting bad and be able to hunt them down for money. Almost like in GTA 5 online, but obviously with a western and red dead twist on it. We also have some of the mission types that are currently available, obviously this is not final. So there's missions, deathmatch, and race. So that seems pretty standard on what Rockstar would offer, especially with like GTA Online as well. So that's definitely making a, a drift on over. But yeah, guys, this is basically a lot of the information that's been leaked very recently on online. And I'm sure we're going to get a lot more information, as I've said, as it trickles out coming near the release of it, which we still don't even know. They said it's supposed to be in November, but when is that time frame? Is it going to be mid-November? Is it going to be early? Is it going to be late? We, we don't really know just yet, but I'm sure that we're going to get an official announcement coming up here in, in a very short period of time because I feel like people have been enjoying the single player. And I feel like that was their whole strategy with this was to give them time to play the single player get through it and just experience it and not have to rush through it just to get to the online mode so i think it's a good idea that they did that but i think people are definitely starting to shift their focus to the online mode and getting excited about it myself included because i definitely want to play with my brothers and friends and all that stuff and just see what it's all about because we had a blast in gta online but guys, that's probably going to wrap this one up. I hope you enjoyed. I hope this information was informational to you. If it was, if you could please leave a like, I greatly appreciate it as it helps my channel out big time as I'm trying to grow in this medium. Guys, I'm doing a ton of Red Dead Redemption 2 content. So if you like this type of content and you find it helpful, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification for whenever my videos will go live for you. And this is good old Commander Sparks signing out. Have a good one, everybody. And if there's any more Red Dead Online content to be covered, you can find it here on my channel and I'll see y'all in the next one.